welcome everybody. Um, this is the second time we get to do this, so a second of three, and we'll do uh, achievements that our student athletes have had here at Chaska High School, but more importantly, uh, some doors that have been opened up because of um, their commitments and their dedication to their sports and to themselves and academic, and so it's always just fun for us to be here and celebrate. Um, this is kind of how it works for us. Uh, I'm going to have coaches come down and talk a little bit about uh, the student athletes. We're going to give the student athletes a little uh, time to talk about why they chose where they went, and then uh, I will um, summarize things here before we end. So I appreciate everyone being here today, families, friends, peers. Uh, again, it's always fun to see uh, those folks that were a big part of why these three here are sitting where they are today. It's, it's the support they've gotten from teammates, the amazing support they've gotten from parents and family. Um, and I know that that's valuable to them too. So with that, I'm going to start with, uh, with, with Bella. And I know um, Coach Heidi's here to talk a little bit about uh, Bella. all the swimmers and uh, Bella's friends for coming here and um, that's nice to always see a great turnout. Uh, before I talk about Bella I'd like to give a shout out to Tatum and Amanda who are also swimming in college and they can give a little brief wave over there. They're both swimming D3 and it's <clears throat> awesome to have so many of our seniors. We have probably 13 swimmer, seniors on our club and I'm guessing 10 of them are going on to swim in college and it's super um, gratifying to see that hard work pay off over the years. Uh, Bella Kudinovich is uh, over there, and I'm one of the few people who can pronounce her name properly, but I've had a lot of experience. I've got to uh, say Bella's name many times at many banquets and throughout uh, history, sending her up to many swims and, and watching her swim at many great uh, high school competitions. Um, I want to do uh, Megan. Coach Megan from the high school team was not able to come, so I just got a little um, couple notes about Bella's accomplishments in high school, which are very great. Um, in 2017, she was a team captain. She was a top eight section finalist multiple times. And Bella's been swimming since seventh grade. So, you know, I don't even think we can add that high, how many times she has been in section finalist. She's a team record holder as a member of the 400 free relay. And she's a state finalist and had been in uh, many, many big competitions um, throughout her, her swimming career. And she's always been a good leader. Uh, as far as uh, my relationship with Bella, I have been coaching her since she's been eight years old. So we go back a long way. Uh, she is, um, she was on the swim team longer than I've been on the swim team. So she kind of outdates me and I came like the first year and there was this like, everyone's like, oh, there's this really good eight-year-old and her name's Bella. And <laughs> she was swimming with the older kids and Bella's always been a little bit um, more mature and advanced and she's always um, done great through her years. Uh, it was kind of funny, one time we were swimming in Bloomington and it's a 50 meter pool and the, uh, one of my friends came out and she's a good, you know, she's a good triathlete, she's not, she's a, anyway, she was swimming with us and she gets out of the water and all the kids get out of the water and like Susie's this tall and all the kids are like this tall and she goes, I didn't know I was swimming with Bella and all these eight year olds. <laughs> so anyway, she, it's, you know, it just shows these guys are really good swimmers and they have been from a very young age. Uh, Bella has been able to remake her career multiple times. She used to be a backstroker, and she still is, but she's so versatile that she can change events quite a bit. She's gone to 200 fly. She finally got smart and decided to become a sprinter. So now she is sprinting, and that's always something that uh, swimmers like to do because um, the events are shorter, and it's just a little bit more fun, and they're always the marquee events at a swim meet. So she's going to do a great job at U University of Missouri-St. Louis. Uh, they are super lucky to have her because she is so versatile, like I said. And she's, I think, actually, this year is the hardest I've ever seen Bella work. And I think she's just going to get better and better as time goes by. Um, one last thing, I'd like to give the Kudinovich family a shout-out because we're going to be sad to miss them. They've been part of our swim team for so many years. Um, Nancy has been our meet director. Her brother-in-law, Jerry's helped us get free stuff for the meets, and John always has to volunteer, too. So it's, and even Michael, he's probably helped <laughs> at the meets. And it's just really, you know, sad to lose a family who's been so supportive of your program. In fact, these guys have helped us get the new pool that's coming online in uh, the late spring here. So we're just um, thrilled for Bella, and we're going to keep uh, track of her through Nancy and Twitter and Facebook, and I'm sure she's going to come back and visit us. So congratulations. So Bella, talk a little bit about why you chose uh, Missouri-St. Louis. Perfect fit for me as an athlete. Um, I fit in well with the team. It's an up-and-coming program, so I'm excited. 
decided to, I guess, go where, where I am needed, I guess. And then um, it is a great education opportunity. They have a perfect nursing program that I am planning on pursuing. This time I'm invite Coach Dahl down to talk about our two football signees, Evan and Micah. All right, guys. Um, first off, congratulations to all three of you on this accomplishment. All their hard work uh, finally paid off, and today it, it becomes official. So congratulations to all three of you um, and, and to parents and, and friends as well. Um, we want to thank you for being here today to support uh, these guys as well as, um, and, and more importantly, just as um, their entire careers. I know as a high school coach, uh, we appreciate it. See ya. Um, we appreciate just the support. Uh, from from parents and, and hopefully these guys recognize that as well uh, just the time commitment from from parents to, to get these guys to where they are and help them um, in their careers so thank you guys and uh, parents and, and friends for the support and, and teammates uh, for helping them accomplish their goals as well um, both of these guys uh, would not be up here if it were not for a lot of their uh, individual accomplishments and, and individual skills that they have and they certainly have uh, produced a lot on the field stats and, and touchdowns and tackles um, and uh, and that's why they're up here playing college football but I think the most some of those, you know, some touchdowns. Yeah, I know it's good I'm proud of you. I know it's good it's perfect. Yeah, see? Um, <laughs> but I think the most the, 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 the most uh, proud I am of these guys is, is not for those things um, certainly that's that's awesome and we're excited to see them in the future um, but more so I'm proud of their the how um, the process that it took for them to, to be sitting at this table um, things like volunteering uh, both of these guys gave of themselves and, and gave into our community and, and gave back and, and hopefully learned valuable lessons while doing that that certainly we want to excel on the field but more importantly it's it's doing stuff off the field and having an impact on others and these guys use their platform and their abilities um, to serve and, and committed a lot of hours over the years to do that um, their leadership uh, both these guys were captains on our football team, um, the leadership that they showed, and we had a we had a great group of seniors overall, and these two were were a part of uh, both leading those guys and leading our team. Um, we went from or these guys when when they were freshmen, what was our record? O and eight, yeah. So O and eight, okay, and, and we talked about like the how and the process. They were O and eight their freshman year, and uh, and stuck with it. And that group, that senior group, was pretty special. Um, was sticking together and, and fighting through and overcoming that adversity would have, would have been easy to just quit and now uh, we suck and blame something on somebody else. Uh, but these guys fought like crazy and this year, uh, because of the leadership of that group and, and these two guys sitting here, uh, went eight and zero their senior year. And so that's a that's a pretty awesome accomplishment in four years to turn that around through their hard work. Uh, the growth of these guys, just as young men, um, I couldn't be more more proud of. Uh, they're just they're good people. Um, good guys you want on the football team, good guys you want in your classroom and, and in the hallways of the school, and somebody that Chaska High School can be extremely, extremely proud of. A um, couple stories just on uh, first first memory I have of, of Evan Otter. I remember getting a phone call from Coach Hap. This was his freshman year, and Coach Hap calls me on the phone and tells me, like, hey, one of our guys got hurt. And that's never what you want to hear. Like, we got a broken leg. So I'm thinking, oh, no, like, shoot, you know, and he's talking about that, well, you know, the big ordeal that it was, and he tells me, he's like, I don't know if we've got a tougher kid in the program. He says we've, you know, kid breaks his leg, and he was he was out there cracking jokes with the, the medical people that came out to help him, and, and uh, what a tough kid. You know, you worry about how they're going to bounce back from that. But he uh, he fought through that, a little bit of adversity, and, and came back and, and worked his tail off um, and was a, was a tough kid for us this year. Um, athletic football player, you know, long and rangy, uh, very good athlete, is, is physical when we ask him to be physical in the trenches and play, uh, but also can play in space um, and, and cover the pass and had a few uh, pass deflections um, this year, a few knockdowns, right, um, which, was, which was good. So he was an all-district football player for us, a uh, very coachable kid um, and a kid who always, I, I, don't, I don't remember ever him having like a down day or being upset. I love that his, uh, his attitude is infectious. He's always got a smile on his face. Um, and it's kind of a, that happy-go-lucky and always asking, like, what can I do better? What can I do? How can I, how can I improve? Is that what you wanted? So it's nice to have coachable kids in the program. Um, we're certainly going to miss you and, and what you brought to our team um, over the past couple of years, leadership and, and on the field as well. So thank you, Evan Otter. Um, Micah, uh, I remember we always, uh, when, when he 
was younger. We, we always go and we practice and get ready for our Friday football games and do our walkthrough, and then we come down to the, to the varsity field where our younger levels, our freshmen, our sophomores are playing. Um, and I remember coming down and, and seeing this kid, not certainly knew who he was, but early on, um, he's got a lot of passion. And I remember the first thing I see him is, is uh, I don't want to say lap, but over over passionate maybe or, or not being able to control that enthusiasm and that passion um you love that but i just remember looking at him going like holy cow that kid is nuts like he's he loves this game but we gotta we gotta rein that in um and one of the coolest things and that's that's a special thing about him is that he has that drive that passion that love that fuels him to to be great um and he certainly has found a way to to focus that and and instill that in, in other players um you know, he's, he's a handful for people up front, uh, you know, played on D line for us this year. Um, and whenever we needed a play, you know, if it was a third short yard, short, fourth or short and short or third and short, um, he would be that guy shooting through the line of scrimmage and making a play in the backfield and, and getting a stop. Um, and, and, and we're going to miss that a lot. Um, he was all district uh, D lineman of the year. He was on the care 11 all Metro team, star tribune first, uh, first team and, and played in the Minnesota all-star game. I think that's all of them, right? Um, and yeah, so a lot of all-state accomplishments uh, for this guy and preseason stuff as well. Um, but again, for, for both of both of them, they're going to be greatly missed. Um, we're, we're so proud of, of what they were able to accomplish and, and do for our program, not just wins and losses, but um, as helping mentor these young kids in our program and just be a leader that, that we want these young kids to grow up and be. And if we can get more Evan Otters and Mike Rones to come through the program, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be very successful on and off the football field. So thank you, Evan, and, and thank you, Micah. All right, Evan, I'll start with you. Talk a little bit about your decision. Um, uh, I don't know. This this place is two hours away from here, so it's close to home. So that was a big that was a big reason why. But like this place, going there, we went on my official. It just kind of felt like home. So like the guys, the guys on the football team. We have a guy already there from Chasco named Sanders, but he helped me uh, feel fit in there. So it felt knowing someone there kind of helped a little bit. But uh, going there, just kind of knew it was right for me. That was kind of the big reason why I picked Southwest. Okay, Micah. Um, like Evan said, it's close to home, so like you don't get too homesick. But like it's far enough so the parents can't come every day. <laughs> uh, and like growing up in Minnesota, it's always a dream to go to like the big school in your state and like play at the highest level and I always had that dream and it was too much of an opportunity like to pass up and the coaching staff really like I don't know spoke to like me and like I just love the coaching staff and couldn't pass up an opportunity to play for them. seeing them in the hallways, doing the right things. They're, they're great role models of everything that's right about um, kind of buying into a process of, of getting better each day. And, and again, now you guys, through all that hard work and dedication and commitment that you've done, you, you, you get to have a pretty special day here. And so we're proud to be able to be here. I'm proud to be able to be here and celebrate that with you. Um, to all of our coaches, parents, friends, again, everyone, thank you so much for your role in that process for them. And I know that role will continue. And um, I know having gone through it a little bit myself at some point, you know, there, there is this great realization when you kind of reflect back on your experience of all these great things that help you get there. Um, I wish you the best. Um, you'll always be Hawks to us, and we'll follow you from afar, and we're not done yet with the school year. So um, one more round of applause for all of our signees. All right, I appreciate everyone coming. That is our signing event. There are some cookies here, certainly some time to take pictures. Um, do anything that we want. We're not in any hurry to get out of here, but again, thank you very much. Have a great day.